Okay, uh, tutorial on how to create your doodles. This is an idea I got from the photography teacher at West High. So we're going to adapt it for us. First thing you want to do is open up Photoshop. And once Photoshop is open, we're going to create a new canvas. So we're going to patiently wait. There we go. And we're going to click on Create New over on the left-hand side here. And we are going to create, well, you know what? Oh, those are recents. You're not going to have recent. So let's go ahead and just create our own uh, preset detail. Uh, we're going to go 1280 by 720 and a resolution of 72. Everything else can stay the same. If you would like to name this, I would recommend doing that. And then it'll show up over here, hopefully, uh, next time you use it. So we're going to click on Create, and that's going to create our, our canvas. And so what we're going to be doing is practicing in Photoshop how, how to use layers and a few tools to create just uh, some fun little doodles that you can be creative with. Okay, so over here on the right side, you should see your layers palette. All right, if you can't see that, a couple options. If you go up to Window and you go to Workspace, you're probably, uh, you might be in Essentials, and so Essentials is going to look like, I'm going to need to reset Essentials. Let's go ahead, Reset Essentials. It'll look like this originally, and so Layers should be down at the bottom here. Uh, if you don't see that, just go up here again to Windows, Workspace, and click on Reset Essentials. Uh, you should automatically be on essentials and there's other options and you can create your own and we'll look at those down the road but make sure that you can see your layers palette here and notice right now we just have one and it's the background layer what we want to do is we're going to create multiple layers for everything that we're working on so we can edit them independently of everything else so at the bottom there's this little square with a plus sign we're going to click on that and that's going to create a new layer right here and then we're going to have some fun. First thing, uh, colors. On the left hand side you have two color boxes here. The one on top is the one that's always uh, that is available to edit. Right? Control Z to get rid of that. Uh, and if you click on that box it'll bring up the color picker. And so you can choose uh, the tone of your color and then the hue over here. So let's say I wanted uh, a blue color and we're going to go a little uh, deeper blue here and hit OK and now I can paint on here uh, and the nice thing is is that because it's independent of the bottom layer I can move this around wherever I want so let's get rid of that and let's uh, go back to sorry I forgot to tell you you should be on your brush tool so to paint we need to paint with something and that's our brush tool so that's going to be the B uh, you can press B for a shortcut, and right now I have my opacity down low. I'm going to turn that back up to 100. And then if I want to change the size of my brush, I have a couple options. I can click up here, and I can change my size and the hardness. Okay, Or I can right-click, and the same thing will pop up. So notice, right now I have my hardness at 100%. I get a nice, clean circle. If I change my hardness to uh, 0, I'm going to end up with kind of a fuzzy edges on my circle. And so as we adjust that hardness, it gets a little less fuzzy on the edges until it's at 100% hard and you get those nice clean lines. So I'm going to leave it at 100. Uh, I'm going to leave this at 100%. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger so that it's easier to paint. And I'm going to just kind of paint some water in here. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of an ocean scene. All right. And then I'm going to create another layer. And I want to make a nice kind of sunset sky. So I'm going to change the color here. And we're going to go down to a yellowish orange, maybe. Something kind of light. Go there. And I'm going to go ahead and paint over this. Oops. Look, I messed up my ocean. But that's okay because, again, we're working in layers. And if I drag this to behind the water, so over on the right side I'm clicking on layer 2, 
I'm going to drag it down, and now it's behind layer 1. So I'm not covering that up. So if I get rid of this, we can see what we've got going on there. Okay, we're going to create another layer. I would like to make a nice big sun, and we're going to make that a nice fiery orange. Yeah, I kind of like that color there. Tone, we're going to hit OK. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's do that. And we're going to go ahead and click that. Say. So because it's between these two layers, uh, it's, it's behind the sun there. If I move this up, it'd be on top, but I want it to be behind the water. And I can click on the Move tool, and I can move this wherever I want and as high as I want. So let's go ahead. I'm going to throw it right there. Let's add another layer. And let's add some seagulls. So we'll just go black. We'll go like a dark gray. And I'm going to change my brush to something much smaller. Another tip, you can use the bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of your brush. And that's kind of nice because then you can see the size as you're doing it. Instead of right-clicking, it's a little harder. Okay, so let's add some seagulls. All right. And again, we can adjust where it's located. I probably wouldn't want the seagulls behind the sun, right? So we definitely want them in front of the sun. And again, I can click on the Move tool, and we can move these guys wherever the heck we want. Okay, so I'm going to... Leave them right about there. All right, and for these projects, I want you to create five layers. All right, so um, I've got one, two, three, four currently, right? So let's add one more and let's maybe add some clouds. And so we'll go maybe, uh, I wouldn't be too pink. Let's just see what we got here. I don't know if this is going to look very good. But that's okay. We're going to experiment. So I'm going to go a little bigger. And I'm going to go pretty soft on my hardness here. Let's go a little bit bigger than that. And we'll add some, not the prettiest clouds in the world. Maybe they need some gray. Let's add some gray. Oh, too much gray. Okay, I'm getting getting fancy here. We're going to decrease opacity. This is kind of, might be kind of new, but let's just go ahead and a little bit of gray on the bottom there. All right, so maybe not the prettiest clouds, but to keep this tutorial short, we're going to go ahead and just leave them there. Unfortunately, that bird's behind it. I think I want the bird in front of it. So we'll go ahead and drag this down below the bird so that the bird's in front. All right, so now you have those five layers. All you have to do is save this thing as a reminder how to save, file, and go down to save as. If you're in the middle of working on this and you're not ready to turn it in, make sure you're always saving it as a Photoshop file that will retain all those layers. I recommend every assignment, whether you're done or not, save it as a Photoshop file. When you're finished, save it as a Photoshop file. So you can always go back to it. Save that as a Photoshop file. I call it doodle number one if that's what the assignment is. Click on save. And if you are done, go back in, save as, and we're going to save this as a JPEG. So go down to JPEG. Same thing, leave it as saved as doodle number one. Click on save again, and now it's saved as a JPEG. We'll choose maximum and hit OK. And then you're ready to submit it and turn it in through Canvas or how, whatever else we're using. Hope this helps. If you have questions, let me know.